What time is it? Guillotine time. I'm gonna eat some Ziggy's potato and egg salad, and then I'm gonna catch some mice. Yeah, baby. You can use any container you want, and I also use some scrap materials that I had laying around, and also the two, four by two millimeter neodymium magnets uh, from eBay that I used for other projects, some rivets, and you start by just figuring out how what size a hole you want and cutting it out. I'm gonna need a little bit of space here because I need to drill a hole for the pin so somewhere about there and so we just want to draw a line here just to mark exactly where the top the maximum height of the closing plate will be there's the marking right there and that's the maximum height I just cut an extra little bit because I do have to make some folds down here Take a set of pliers, doesn't matter what kind. And we'll get the bend in there a bit. Go to the other side and try to get a nice sharp bend through there. Okay. And then we work on the second sharp bend. We just need a very small one out there. way okay and we'll just work our way down once she's all riveted in I just drill a small tiny little hole for the trigger pin then I just simply cut out a door to fit and at the end, I have a little piece that just sort of flips up at a 90 degree angle, slides down, and then that's where the magnet will attach to the door. Also add a cross brace to the top of the door area so the mouse can't get to that. So I have the magnet on the bottom here and just a cross brace or beam here. And so when it's triggered, boom, it goes down and the magnet sticks it to the bottom. Instead of using string I use a pop can cut in a very thin sliver and that will be my string. And the uh, paper clip will be my trigger pin. Now this is the tricky part where you have to figure out how much play you have there because what the mouse will do is to grab this and pull it through. So you want to have this set to a point where it's not going to flick out. So I got to glue that down and then cut the wire here so that it's the perfect trigger point right there. The seed fits perfectly in the pop tab. So theoretically the mouse goes in the door. There's going to be bait stuck in here. It'll pull on the bait a little bit. It'll close the door, snap it shut. The magnet holds it down. So the mouse goes in. Now here the trap is set. Unfortunately, the first time I put it out, I did catch nothing. But there is definitely evidence that the mouse got in and there's poop everywhere, but the mouse obviously got up and pried the door open. Just not enough magnets, maybe. Back to the drawing board. So I had to make some improvements on the design. I added two magnets. I did try the one because I thought oh, it might be strong enough but I was able to obviously pry up one side of the door and tilt it up. So I added two magnets, very strong. I have the cross beam I had to drop down a little bit lower and that'll protect the from the mouse trying to get to the top of the uh, trap door. And there I added another plate on the bottom 
and this is so that they can't access the bottom of the door. Um, so I just riveted it, riveted it on, a little glue, hot glue for reinforcement. You don't need to use the rivets, but I just put that there for extra strength. Because those little guys are strong. So there it is all set. There's the trigger pin with the bait back here. So the cool thing about this is that you can push it back in a little bit more. It does move freely through there and you can set it back a, a wee bit more. You can set it forward um, so it's harder to trip. But the weight of the door will actually keep it in place. And so far I haven't had any problems with the door coming down. It's a little slanted there, but I haven't had a problem with it slanted and getting caught dropping down. Boom. Guillotine! One other thing that's great with this type of trap is that there's no external devices on the outside. So if the mouse jumps on top, it's not going to set the trap. Um, so it's a lot simpler. And the only way this, the trap is set is if something went in and pulled the pin. Finally, success. It's been pretty cold out. And unfortunately, for the first mouse, I wasn't able to check it in time. And unfortunately, it did pass away. However, the second mouse, thankfully, is still alive and is presumably doing well in a field nearby. And don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. If you haven't already done so, please check out my other mousetrap videos. Uh, I also do some car cam videos, bow videos, and computer builds. So uh, a lot of variety here on this channel. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.